Hello everybody and welcome back to Holy Welcome back to Bandus Gate. So I wanted to say but uh Yeah two two dead You're positively kidding me. I, I didn't even have a chance yet and two are dead. Rally. If you could kill him one hit, because really I can't do anything else here. I can't believe it. He just came in and hit two. So, uh, I just started this up. How is target obscured by the shadows? I wanted to say the first thing I did is light up her sword because she always has problems with her sight. So, you know, I thought I'd do that. How is it obscured? I'm literally shining a sword that's radiating light into its face. Well, at least I hid. What is that it? Are you gone now? Not hide. Help. 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 Why can't I help? Okay, good. So yeah, we'll come back. What do we have to do? All right, we have to get the mushrooms. We have to get a mushroom so we can hide because that will help us with our temples. That's what I heard. And off to a great start because everybody lost all their life. How did Justin go up? So I wasn't here before. I uh, probably should just do a short rest to heal them up some. This doesn't really look inviting with all the spider webs and whatnot. Locked. Uh, you know what to do. A resupply stash. I wonder if Lolf's pets left anything good. Well, I hope so. Greased paper. Dark Mother, weaver of destiny, offer us a blessing to slay your foes. May they be strangled by the threats of fate and die red in your image. Loth be praised. Okay. Uh, studded. Tro studded leather armor. Bezek or gold. Empty box. Well, yeah. Take that all. Um, Anybody needing. You have a. 12 plus 4, 15. We actually have the worst of them all. I'm sorry. A rip cage. I don't need the rip cage. Rotten basket. I don't really need the gold anymore. Um, spider art. What's in there? Nothing. Okay. Where can I continue? Where do I even need to go? I feel like I'm not going where I need to go. How do I even get here? I think I can just go to the Underdark Sussa tree and continue up here. Right, because that's where I need to go. So Path to Moonrise Tower, that's all leaving outside. But I'm gonna go in here just because I can and I'm here anyway. Are you guys coming? And what better reason do you need than well, I can? Really? Oh, okay. This is climbable. I was like, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Don't, 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 don't. No. no, not everybody do that. Don't follow me. Okay. Can I... I have to climb up to shoot a fire up. Fine, I'm gonna try it. Oh, is that going to explode me? Uh. 
Oh, he stays. Oops, sorry. Can can you? Okay. At least there's no uh, poison in the. Okay, never mind. That didn't help at all. But uh, I mean, she did say that there's something up there that's worth a look. So I guess I'm gonna take one of my people and drink an anti-poison potion. Anti-poison potion should be helpful. And then I can go up there and check. Come on, loading screens. Came up with a decent plan. I hope. Yes. So, poison resistance. Go resist the poison. That's curious. What, where are you? Why'd you go down? Why are you not resisting the poison? Something over there. Basic poison, masters. Hand crossbow. Silver necklace. That didn't go as planned. Also, I didn't investigate the ruptured stone. What's happening? Something over there. What are all the marks for enemies that I'm walking through? Okay. Still standing too close. Perfect throat. Hmm. I don't know whether I should be walking here alone. Probably just gonna end up with me loading because. Oh, look! There's gold. Yeah, yeah, about that. Um, it's very nice that I found this. You know, very interesting. I'm gonna go go to the mushroom place now, and um, <clears throat> just get high. I mean, I expected all the petrified trolls to wake up, but not like some kind of being to. Anyway, let's just fast travel to the underdog sussel tree. Good. And go that way. Just where I wanted to go like a million years ago, right? <gasps> Is this where I set up the po poison? And then I was like, oh no, it takes a minute. So I'm gonna just quickly do this other thing. Is that it? Might very well be it. Wait, how do I get there from here? So I jump over? No, I can't jump on here. Huh. It does continue here, doesn't it? Shit. Do I get up here? Anything to climb here? Should we really be having a torch, shouldn't I? This doesn't look very climbable. Can't reach. Can't jump. It's too high not enough space. Oh no, that's not where I'm looking at that it might be able to put me somewhere here, isn't it? Too high. Okay. So let's go that way. Not to continue somewhere, a deep hole. Hmm. 
I'm not good at orienting in here. Can I jump on this? There. There's people standing here. Okay, so I'm back in camp, so actually I need to go through camp to the, get to the other place. Which, fair enough, I don't mind at all. I just feel like I'm not. Yeah, okay, I'm not. I, I need to, where I was, exactly where I was, should continue. Okay, guys, can we go back? Can we just like... That was nice and all, but let's uh but for a stroll. As we all know walking is a really great hobby. Stay in H, I go for endless walks. It's uh you can experience here with me. Cause I just don't know how to get to where I wanna be. They're on a different level. Yeah, I need to be here. I'm gonna jump down. I can climb down. Okay, I got it. I got it. I was just trying to get up, but I need to go down. Everything's fixed now. That doesn't look Sounds good. Sounds like someone's about to die. I feel so at home here. Okay. Let me just... Carefully go there. Did I trigger it because I was too close? Did I trigger all of them? Did I kill him? I didn't save before. Ah, right. As uh, what were you saying? <laughs> I hope you won't die. Uh, what are you doing down here? I was looking for Derrit. She's... She'll be worried sick. I must... Need to go. For you. Your trouble. Th thank you. I didn't help at all. I triggered them and then you helped yourself. Ta. You almost died. I was very afraid there. But, um, guess we did that. Always great when we can help people. I feel so good about myself. Let's go up Misty Step and Feather. Okay. Just tell me I can continue from here. Because otherwise, I'm kind of at a loss. I, sh I, I should be getting. Uh, no, 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 no. Should be getting mushrooms somewhere, shouldn't I? Guess I can. Uh... Oh, guys, you can follow me again. Should be getting up here and see whether that continues. I should just be checking my map. What am I even doing here? No, this is not a jumpable surface. Earth, Moonrise Tower, Ruin Tower? Is that where I need to be going? Okay, wait, 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 wait. The tower belongs to a clerk of Mistra named Lenore. She is fond of gardening, experimenting on plants such as a tree. Tabas Omelum requires a tongue of madness mushrooms, some timus spores. We can find both of these in a mysterious tower nearby. 
show map. It must be this. This is the area where I didn't want to continue because something's gonna pop and try and kill me again. This area I could go explore from the underdog. Beach. Wow. This is very confusing. And why can I jump up around here and then not continue anywhere? Well, that was fun. Ash? Oh, there's Ash, but it will stop being there at some point. Okay, let's go all the way back. Let's go to camp. Let's no, not the time. Let's see whether we can get any reward for bringing a very confused person home because we help very much. At least that's what we can say because. His rumbling's probably not gonna make much of a difference. Oh god, that was too high. And then we can go and actually... I really thought I was going... Where am I? I really thought I was going to this uh, tree. To... To this lady, because... It's sad that it's, you know, she likes hanging out with the Sussur tree, so... Makes sense to me. Oh, I could go into the deep hole, couldn't I? Even with your keen eyesight, the hole below you soon plummets into an abyss of impossible darkness. Hello? Your call echoes as it plunges downward, before gradually fading away. There was a crow. Hmm. Anyway, let's just get my reward here and then fast travel. Balin, there you are. Yeah, I, I saved them. Did you bring the noble stock? It was me. The what? Look at that. Got my useless old man back. Yeah, I, I did. suppose that's your doing. Absolutely. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. It's a miracle he survived. You should take him home. Please, Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. This is a dangerous territory. You must be down here for a reason. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. What makes it so valuable? Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Tadpoles? What about the gnome, Tula? Could it cure her? Might do. But why bother? Thing sells in town for enough to make your eyes bulge. Complete. Why well, wasn't it joyful reunion? Dareth has her husband back now. Well, are you happy about that? Of course, it was Bibberbank. Can we talk to you some more? My friend, Bibberbank. Yeah. Curious, beautiful, but dangerous. Next time, more careful next time, for certain. Thank you. For your help. Uh, um, I'm glad I found you when I did. Because without me, the traps wouldn't have triggered and you wouldn't have run away and then you wouldn't be here. Me too. Yes. Very glad. Someone's got to look after Derrick. Anyway, what were you saying? Uh, what is noble stock exactly? Mushroom. Powerful. Dirith wants it for a brew. She's very good, my Dirith. Very good at a brew. How did you wind up trapped like that? Noble stock. Yes. Dirith needs noble stock. 
Mushroom. Good stuff. A and the ledge. Yes. I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And I tumbled down. You must be keen on mushrooms if you're willing to break the underdog for them. The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. Are you feeling all right? You seem like uh, seems like you're confused early. My um, my words get away from me. You'll have to ask Dereth. She knows the ins and outs. Okay. Thank you. Again, very glad I could um rescue you. So let's go to Underdark Beach. And then actually maybe find those mushrooms that I've been setting up to get. If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Are you guys okay? Are you threatening an enemy I can't see right now? Are you talking to each other? Ah, uh, let's get out of here. Successful. Okay, how do I continue? How do I get out of here? I guess it's this way, or is there a connection here? The underdog is very much me running around confused because my sense of orientation is uh, not the greatest. <laughs> It's been tested here quite a bit. Oh, there is a mushroom circle. But uh, this might be. Are we? Are we together? No, somebody's not there. Who's not willing to come? You need to climb up the rope, not stand next to it. I know it's a very confusing concept, but. In time, you'll learn the tricks. Oh, there's another hole. Don't go yelling in it. Okay. Now we're actually at the tower. Something, something's pointing at me. What is that? Pain turret. That's not good. Nope. Hide. Can't hide here. No, it immediately sees me. Um, is it cool? I just you're shooting at me. There's another one. I just really need to. To get to the tower. Yeah, this looks perfect. This is probably where I want to go. So, how do I deal with a cane turret? Just running? So far, nothing really has hit me. Oh, this is locked. No way to ignite these. Strange. Something happened if I ignite them. That's Mark Miss Fire. Excuse me, put this here, thank you. That did not go as planned. That really didn't go as planned. What about this? I wanted you to throw it in. Stone urn can't do anything with it. Oh, that's too close. 
So I need to find a way to, to turn these off. It does look like those might be a good thing. Okay guys, let's just run as quickly as you can, please. I have no idea what else to do. I don't I would shoot at a super high speed. I would have hit her every time. Didn't hit me at all. We're all here. I'm just gonna uh, wage and say this is not something he can just unlock. Yeah. So, I'm at the ruined tower, but I can't really get in and I can't really. Anybody got any ideas here? Doesn't look like I can light these. At least not by normal means. So use other means. It won't ignite. Well, yeah, I, we figured that much. So nobody can light them. There's a door here, but I don't think I can jump quite that far. I mean, there's a balcony and a door, but yeah, there's another one. Can't reach. I know you can't reach that. Can you jump in here? Yeah, she can. Broken machinery. What is that good for? God, there's so many of them. Are we safe here? Yes. Could you get closer? Co closer. You shouldn't all be in here. Okay, I need to load and uh, <laughs> not have all of them jump in. It didn't even all of them, it's two of them. How do I turn those off? I thought it was the Praziers, but I can't, even if the people who can reach them can't really deal with them, activate them in any way whatsoever. So. I'm just gonna go exploring for a bit. And then see how I'm gonna get the other two to go here. Run here, please. You should be safe in this nook. Yes. Broken machinery and rope. Okay. Now. Okay, this is an elevator. Descent or ascent. Heavy oak door. There's a balcony. This is from the other side. I don't see how you could have gotten in here from the other side, looking at the kind of jump you need to make. Or is this the garden with the mushrooms? They look like the same mushrooms I've been encountering all this game. Um, should I just make a run for it? question is, do I have everything that I need? Have you seen me always? Okay. I get some kind of healing. Up, up, up. Consumables. Vitality. Yeah, potion of healing. No lot left. Okay. Come on, just just run. Just run. Looks like some kind of magical contraption. Now to get it to work. Still nothing. Okay, I have 
broken machine, I think, is what I found latest. Broken machinery, cogs of this metal contractor bend out of shape, the steel sheeting dinted and cracked. Well, can I use it? Rope. Where exactly can I place stuff though? There's a dusty book. I've literally played complete with an extensive knot and antidote. Okay, maybe I need the book. Where does this go? Just some upgrades, a stone urn. Um, that just seems to be balcony. Okay, I guess the next person ought to run in. Actually, maybe it's your turn because I think you can make yourself faster. Yes. So let's just save. I'm gonna grab the book, can't tell me, can you? Okay, that, that didn't work as expected, but... I know you can't see me, I'm just trying to jump in this stupid... Why are you not jumping in? Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Use jump to reach, I'm trying to. I'm really trying to. Hello. I know I am trying to use jump to reach. So walk if it's too far. I'm trying to get you closer and then you still don't jump. Was that was that something? Nope. It's, uh, even if there's no line telling me that it's not possible or this or that reason doesn't do it. Uh, wait. You should really have some light with you. Thank you. Let's run here quickly, please. Okay, we're gonna get this book now. Spinning of this book probably declares it to be. Okay, should have continued reading it. I, was just, I, I thought she's gonna pick it up. Was there anything important there? Wish that I could pause and go back in the record. Uh, oh, well, it is. So let's do that again, and while she's dying, I can just read what it is, and I need to reload. God. Yeah. Not you, you, come here. No, you, come here. You're useless. Don't stand where they can shoot you. No, I really want to. Okay. I just need to read that book. Okay. I'm sorry. The beginning of this book proudly declares it to be a play by Dami Ingenier, followed by an extensive introduction, 23 pages of notes on the text. The book itself seems barely touched. One stanza is interpreted twice. <coughs> sorry. There's a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. And in its wake, it tramples everything, will kill the rest so that the one can thrive. It's not really a manual for the elevator now, is it? So... What am I to do? Could I try going out on a door? Just of the mundane, looking at this chest built with a suspiciously overwhelming feeling that there's absolutely nothing special about it. Okay, so I need to go through the store. I'll be shot at. That chest. I can feel its magic. 
magic. No, it's absolutely mundane. Mug, a goblet, and a metal fork. Wait, this wasn't a scroll a moment ago. What happened? Latest. Scroll shield of faith. Surround a creature with a shimmering field of magic to increase its armor class by two. Scroll protect from evil and good. Protect a creature against aberrations. Celestials, elements, thief, fangs, and undead. The target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them, and when these creatures attack you, they do so with disadvantage. Mistress Grace, wearing these boots is like walking on cotton clothes. I want to wear them. Um, what kind of shoes am I wearing? Just leather boots. I'm walking clothes instead. Thank you. No, 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 don't open this. What, what do they do? No way to ignite these. Strange. Okay, so if I understand correctly, I mean, I need to use a scroll so I just found on myself. Um. Oh, I have some of these already. Can I use this, please? I want to, I want to use these. Okay, it's guiding bolt I can use, but this I can't. Why can't I use this? Like my class to lower something. I really do need to heal a bit if I want to continue here. Rotten chicken egg. I don't think I need this. Okay. Um. So, I can't scroll of whip. This is a bit messed up, isn't it? Wow, I have a lot in my inventory. My hot bar. Huh. Now the thing is, can't really jump down here. I don't see what my shoes are doing for me. Although they must be special, I got them here for being special. Special. So another thing is I could try and go to the other side of this. It just has some wooden crates. This looks like it's jumpable though. Do I have those on my side? Not really. I wish I would just be using my scrolls. Magical. Okay. No. What is happening? Can't use them apparently. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, through the next door. Oh wow. I thought closing this would be a good idea, but apparently it just did me more harm. It's just some benches. If we want to chill for a bit. So nothing out here. 
Well then, to the third balcony we go. Close the doors. More rope trapped this army. Oh, I can use them like this. Right, I can move stuff, but I don't see how that'll help me. Hey, anyway, those seem like I can jump on them, right? Good. So I can actually... Oh god, I almost killed myself. I can never really estimate what height I can jump down from or not. Nothing in these. Not blood splattered here. Don't have a lot of uh, healing items left. I mean, I do have fish. Which apparently, super got. I know I'm doing some things wrong here because this can't be the way to go about it. What is happening at this level? The traps. A water barrel and a wooden barrel. Is this the mushrooms we want? No. That's too bad. I thought I might be there already. I very much enjoy not being shot at. I'll tell you. And mask spores. Sprouting tin mask. Is that something I'm here to collect? Did something just happen? So of all, if I analyze it correctly, it shouldn't be me running in around here because I can't cast the spells that I can find to get proper protection. Oh! We found some Timas spores, we need to bring them back to Umalon once we find a tongue of madness. One of two done. Easy. I'm just in this uh, godforsaken world. Some kind of saving throw. Uh, can I read you, please? This threadbare book looks like it once contained a play, but most of it has been lost to time, vermin in an unfortunate ink spill. Only two full sentences are distinguishable. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? It was like the owner was quite the literary type. Is that my voice? Huh. Wait, did I go out here already? Well, there ought to be something to be done with those stone urns, isn't there? And the elevator probably also doesn't work from this level on. Still nothing. Yeah, it didn't change anything, so it's not like it really could have done something. Okay, can I jump further down from here then? That'll surely hurt me. Yep. But at least I could correctly predict. Didn't have a spell for that, like feather fall or something. Feather, yeah. <laughs> Hindsight and, and stuff like that. Oh God, if I need to load, I really need to go in and check out with one of my loads, the quick saves I want to load. I'm still not there. Is this too much as well? Yeah, okay, haha. <laughs> 
So I just loaded it and I was like, yeah, let me just quickly replay this part and then go back to the thing and then jump down with Featherfall. And look what's here. Time of Madness. And I just walked past it last time around. I just completely walked past it. So basically, once I took the other one, we can just fast travel out of here. I mean, I can use Featherfall just to get down and see whether there's anything um, worth looking at down there. There was nothing there. But uh, boy, is it good that I had to reload. Because that wouldn't have happened otherwise. I would have just completely not gotten the time. Okay. Uh, Featherfall, please tell me that you can use this spell. further down we need to be jumping. So really I'm just exploring until I just fast travel to where I actually need to be. It's locked. Well I'm no good with lock picks. This is the lap. Oh there's a power generator which will probably do something about the elevator. What makes sense? Sasser Bloom. Get some of that and while we're at it. But this is basically. Could I have gotten here some other way? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, if I have a luck pig, I can try. Can I attack? Uh. Oh yeah, I can just bash it open. Oh, could you walk inside? Thank you. Let me get all the fancy stones. Ink pot, I don't need ink pot. Loth candle. Sure, I might want to start worshipping Loth. Bone cap, blow up trumpets, one touch stuff. Well, that's just small mushrooms, isn't it? There's a book. <laughs> the anti magic properties of Sussa tree flowers by L.D. Hurst. For those knowing about Sussa tree, the magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti magic aura, which is complete enough to even those unattuned to the belief can feel its effect, but also, the most interesting to, to those living in the world above, the way its root, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors such in items are rare, but spread in settlements during the Underdark. The actual existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholar. I hypothesize that these items are not mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself create items with both anti magic properties and ones using the magical absorption of Sussa tree flowers as power source. Lines have been drawn on the following pages of if the author intend to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the thin book is blank. That's unfortunate. We can just uh, take it. Why not? I like taking books with me. Nothing here that's interesting at all. Glowing gem. Feels a bit odd to be like out and about on my own. Down here. Where's this going? Where is this going? Is this going somewhere? It's going to another elevator. Uncovered mysteries detect thoughts. What am I wearing? Absolute smurthy. I can regain life. 
which is really fantastic. And this is the Tekthar 72 divination spell. What does it do? I really need to figure this one out and I had to do a better job of it next time around. <laughs> Isn't it somewhere here? Should my detect thought be a skill that is here? Focus your mind to read the thoughts of certain creatures while talking to them. Casting spell is blocked. Okay. Lost voice speak with the dead. Don't ever speak with the dead somewhere. Huh. So let's go back to the talisman. But uh, read thoughts it seems powerful. Okay. Wait. I need to go down and do something to the generator. This is where my engineering degree will be coming in. Super helpful. You just watch. Watch and learn. Um, I have machinery parts. Where would those be? Machinery parts. Broken machinery. There we go. Combination failed. Cool. Rope? Feels like. Nope. Sausage tree. Oh! That actually is it. Had to be something from around here. Oh, they stopped! Oh, that's so very nice. And they're lit. Hey guys, I think we can now, like, meet up. Is there higher levels that I haven't been going to yet? There are! There are robots up there! Wow! It's a complete high tower and I've only been going down so far. But I also want to go back and... Well, First of all, I want to save. First of all, I want to go to um, ground floor and pick up my friends because I miss them. This is where it's at. Can everybody come in here, please? No. Come here. Just need to jump in. You need to walk a bit further and then you need to jump in. Somebody, please. Could you all do this, please, for me? Can't tell me that you can't jump in here. Pretty sure I need you guys. Because there's enemies up there. Oh, I got this. Such tedium. No flames, no battle cries. Please, I'm begging you. Jump in here. I know you can do it. Yeah, I'm trying. There's a line somewhere here. It shouldn't be that. I can't jump in. With these two. Why can't I jump in with these two? And also, I don't think I can open the door. Yeah. 
And also they're not following, you know, if I jump over, it's not like they automatically follow me. No, they're just standing there like they actually can't. Okay. What is happening? No. This way. Because it doesn't really matter whether they're in a line or not. They're not gonna come anyway. Anything I can do with these. But another potion of healing is good. So I'm just gonna go up for a bit and see what's there, but if there is a big fight, I can't really do anything about it because I'm not having half my party. Because um, they won't jump in through the window. Oh! There they are! Well, that's good. That's nice. To the grave. Oral histories of Pharaoh. Towards darkness, a handwritten letter. Lots of reading. There's a torn out paper. The writing on this torn out strip of paper is shaking, blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands? Just for a while. Oof. Rickety chair, landscape, wooden chest. The magic's feigned. Where are these items? Arcana and religion. Okay, yes. Uh, the magic ring is a story item, but uh, I think I want to have better stats in Arcana and religion. Button. Strange place for a button, especially one that doesn't work. Well, I was hoping it would work. What's happening? Stuttered a bit. Okay, let's see what kind of books I got. Because I picked some up. This book is comprised of several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcription, the oral history of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 4 Palador the Swift, 700 years of age, wood elf storyteller hailing from the wood of sharp teeth. It took me several weeks of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Palador felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed, demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gently inquire. He was to open to gentle inquiry. There you go. This tale, relate to me on a chilly morning as we stoke a small fire between us, was like none I had heard before or since. I asked if it were fiction, he insisted emphatically it was true as his own right eye. Long ago, before my eyes and ears, before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief. An empire of brain eaters, soul wasters, they called themselves illithids, the flayers of mind. The children of Gith were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passionate people, made to serve a cold belief. The flayers were untouchable, their minds as creed oppressor, no proud will or passion, could break Gith children free. Until at last the reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, but its events, history making. The cowed would not be cracked. Gith children fought back valiantly, their freedom theirs, their flayers betrayed, uh, their flayers bent and broken till today. Huh. The Roads to Darkness. An epic tragedy about power, corruption, loneliness. Prologue. A lonely road. Thunder and lightning. Enter Sorath. Sorath. New sounds throw damp. And dark oppression break. Is it the foe that foul contemptuous heel? Or art thou friend, the rescue from my lonely wake? Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. And Arisia. How would I know? How would I know, Sorath? It's been so long. What do I know of you, and you of me? Sorath, wait. Do you hear that sound? 
into Amphius. What's this? Those figures are so familiar both, but still you seem so strange. Swords, it's Amphius. Rizia, dear Amphius, what happened to your face? It's pale as death. Swords, your eyes are black. Are black as char. Amphius, and you? I saw your teeth, their sharp as plates. And what is it with this road so slick with blood? What happened here? What happened to all of us? Accent and from. Act 1. Ten years prior. The rest of the blade tells the tale of three elven friends, their path to power, and how corrupted, mad, and lonely they killed each other. Oh, so it has a happy ending. And the handwritten letter. Dear Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that that's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lauren. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you're feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amarith. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the Arden Crooks flower on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a loved, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Oh, the dog died. As you all know, animals are not allowed to die in games. Okay. Guess that was this level. And, um... Are we ready for the next? Should I continue? Uh... By the way, I just remember that she should have... No spells. She should have a healing spell that works on all of us, right? Creature you touch regains points. Creature you can see. Have healing. All allied creatures you can see reach. Okay. Casting spells blocks. Not effect around it or constructs. Oh! Because of the sussure tree, I cannot cast spells. Right. Sauce of flower arrow. Can I get rid of the saucer tree? How do I? How do I? Drop item. Let me just go down a level. Have another sister tree. Yes. Chop this item as well. Not in the elevator, if you will. Okay. Let's go down a level. Okay. Now we can cast spells. So, prayer of healing. I like this so much better. Now the question is, does it make sense to take Sussa Tree with me? New sounds to the damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foul? The foul contemptuous heel. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Could I see, or is it that, or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely way? Come out of love for me, not love for blood and seal. Command as you see fit, my lord, my liege. Uh, there's a light in every living thing, it's crawling towards the surface, or the sign switches on and all alone. I'm gonna go with the silent stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hand for just a while? Of course, my love. And I'm so Don't be afraid, sweet girl. His hands close around the air next to your face, as if he's taking the hands of someone taller. What can I do? You mock him, Mama. Hey. Say, would you like a hug? Um. Yes, please. 
from here for just a moment. Let it out. Remember, you are loved, Lenore, so much. You're doing great. And everyone will be so proud of you. As I already am. Well, that actually was nice. Patched. Still don't like the sounds in this tower. Yes, please all remember you're loved. Animated armor. Bernard Guardian. There's a lot of these animated armors. And nothing really up here to speak of. Why can I go up here? Huh. What is up here that is worth coming here for? Because I feel like if you don't know the correct things to say there, fuck the machinery then it's uh, not gonna go well unless I'm mistaken I want scrolls that I'm not using anyway uneducating the faithful no I want the uneducating the faithful here it is an excerpt from a lengthy speech by Grant Metron Tara first delivered in Mesoberanza and recorded by Sildarian Spy Praise be to Loth Mother of all true, who wet binds us body and soul and strangles the unworthy before they can draw breath. Those who stand before me have proven their worth. You shall educate all new converts to laws using any means necessary. Many of them fear the goddess, as they should, but their faith is not yet true. Their minds are simple and should be treated accordingly. They must follow the order of every priestess like a sacred decree. They must never cover their eyes in insult or gift. They must honour that house that raised them from their pathetic, treasonous origins. They must keep their secrets upon pain of death. Ensure that death is public should the time ever come. Lord smiles on those who are creative in matters of torture. Well, that's a nice religion. I mean, in Christianity, at least, they're all like, yeah, uh... Don't... Don't try any blood. Which I guess also led to creative torturing methods. It's because I like, need to inflict pain without uh, destroying the skin. Oh, that's a nice view, actually. I like it. Glad we're up here. But I am not sure what this level is for. Oh, I can combine things. That's where I should have this other tree. Ah, oh, let me get that. It's just one level below. Let me pick that up and then... Uh, I don't know why I haven't used her heal all people power outside of battle. It feels really stupid. This elevator is a bit broken. It's not it. So what can I put in here? Is there any hint anywhere as to what I can put in such things? The Sturdy Book Pro is a perfect working space. I don't know what this is. Why do I have an eye? Play the Frontier's eye. Right. I remember that. Hmm. Hmm. I really thought there'd be more to do in this tower still. Other than me not understanding the workbenches. Yeah. I guess what I need to do now is get back to camp. Which is quickest from the underdog sister tree. Right, right. Let me, let me first check that I actually need to 
You need to bring them back to online once you find a tongue madness, find a tongue madness, tin mask spores. Yeah. So we need to go back, it just doesn't show it on the map. But let's get going. Probably missed something there, I'm sorry. Do let me know if you know of something I missed. Because uh, once I am going to start this game anew, once it's you know, out. God, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Where am I and where am I going? Um, it'll be nice to know things that I missed. Just judging by the fact that if I missed them the first time around, I'll probably also miss them the second time around. I will not understand what I can build in there. <clears throat> and so on. Should really be getting myself some water. Okay, much better. Right. This is very returned towards the hole. What about the mighty beast? They kept attacking us, but I haven't killed it yet. Wait, this is the entrance. Okay. Because, like, I don't know whatever triggered it to come out. I could have just fast traveled here. Well. Anyway. Barrel stack. What does that do? Nothing as far as I can tell. Now where in this camp were they standing? Can't quite remember what they looked like. Oh, it was the tentacle guy, right? Over here, yes. Find him safe and then let's see what we can get out of this I greet you child of the sun how has your search for the mushrooms fared uh I found those mushrooms you were looking for these are fine specimens it will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency Ormelon turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. Okay. What exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Well, let's do it because that's what we set out for. <clears throat> I just don't like that oh, you can't see it. But in the top left corner it said insight fail. So there's something that I didn't take out of his response. That I should have, might have uh, understood. But drink the potion. The acidic liquid tightens your throat burning on the way down it's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach not a drop left very good good girl as the potion influences your mind you may find yourself acting irrationally try and stay focused the world loses its edges its finer boundaries you are fluid, but trapped, like a creature suspended in amber. I'm not sure what I need to do. Do I need to resist this? Focus on the present, not the illusions. Stare into this rolling abyss while I'm lost in there. Focus on the present, not the illusion. I, I can do six. A few sparks and colors dance around Omelum, but you stay steady 
and staring ahead. The tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Please don't. Wall of your mind from a psionic seizure? Resist the panic from within? Well, I'm super intelligent, so I'll wall off my mind from a psionic seizure. Oh, that's a tough one. Not super tough, tough there. Not much for me. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power, more power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. You're supposed to make it weaker, not stronger. You have my deepest apologies. The lava did not care for my intentions. So I went through all this and a temple still lodged in my brain. Indeed, although I may have another solution albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? That is not how gifts work. Why didn't you mention the ring before this potion debacle? Because removal seemed preferable to negation. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. Could try and intimidate him. I don't know how that will go. I don't know whether it'll trigger a fight. I have gold for the suit. My research is in perpetual oh. need of funding. Yes, I am willing to accept your coin. I did not expect it to work. I was just like, yeah, whatever, let's just click in there. Ring of Psionic Protection. Shelter forms a barrier around the bear's tadpole that cannot draw on its power, but it can't grow stronger. What do you also have? Restorative gravity. When the bear heals another creature, it's pulled two meters towards them. Is that good or not? You have to mask for a tongue of madness, mister. Why do you send me out? There. Take my money. May it serve you as well as it has served me. A pretty thing. And at least it offers us some protection from the tadpole. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Have you spoken with Scris lately? I'm poisoned. Oh, because I drank poison. That would make sense. Yes. She's cataloging. Um. No. Oh. Well, perhaps you can wear the ring if you want to. I'll join her. 
because when I bought it, it said Cheddar Hard approved, so she really liked the wing. Okay, I guess this is actually it because if I look at what there is to do, I did this part. Um, it's probably mostly just setting up to Moonrise Tower, which I cannot do as of yet. Um, there's other stuff that I need to do in Baldur's Gate. He's talking to my companions. Speak quickly. Well, I like you too. I wanted to talk to Shadowheart because now she has a ring. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Uh, no, I don't think there's anything new. So I guess that's just that. Which means I have come to an end like of my playthrough of the early Exes version with my wonderful Coco and my party um, because I can't see me doing anything else worth mentioning here. I am certain that I haven't seen everything that there is to see and I've done everything that there is to do and I there's apparently like infinite things to see and do and create and craft and optimize and whatnot but I felt like now I've actually done a lot of those and I've already set my mind on once the full version coming out uh, I'll be a different character and I'll probably go through this I mean I'll have to go through this world again um, late doing the most important of those things before I can set out to Moonrise How Tower. Is it is a fantastic game. I really would have loved to play this with the yell, but well, at least I can greatly enjoy this with you who are watching and just me and I'm sorry for, you know, not playing optimally and not knowing a lot about the D and d and whatnot and not using all these Correctly, I just feel like I could have done so many things better if I knew any better or if I put in some research. Uh, I have sometimes looked up uh, some things, but you know, um, I don't know what to say other than I love this game, I love the world, I love how it works. I'm getting better at the fighting. Next time around, I'll probably. Who was this? Repulsor. Unleash the absolute power. All nearby creatures and objects take 2d6 force damage and push back 6 meters. Oh my god, I guess this is what just happened by me coming here. I do want to do this. My final action, I'll just use the Repulsor. Just to see what'll happen, you know. Excuse me, I need to pay for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love this game. I'm so gonna play it. Yeah, fair enough. Here, take some money. Be more careful. Yeah, yeah, I will. Thank you for joining me in this ride. If you want to stick around for next up is uh, Divinity Original Sins 2. Until this game comes out in full. And I feel like Divinity Original Things you can also play but at such an accelerated forever rate. and discover whatnot. Um, yeah, I'll stop rambling now and I'll see you in some other videos. Thanks.